Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller with PA Creative. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to change the image size, the aspect ratio of the Divi portfolio featured image. So you may want that to be square, maybe you want it tall or wide or something like that. It's really easy to change this with a little bit of CSS using our system. I'm going to show you how to do that. So if you've followed any of our other tutorials uh, about the aspect ratio of images, you'll know that we kind of developed a little system here and we have all our math figured out and we're just reusing it for the different modules, the gallery module, just the image module, um, the, the portfolio module right now, and then also the blog module. So we're doing the same type of tutorial, but there's different code. And we're adding a class to the module and then there's these different snippets that are based on different aspect ratios. So here it's a square, so it's one to one. I have a little screenshot at each of these. 16, 9, 4, 3, 3, 2, 9, 16, 3, 4, and 2, 3. And you know each one of these has their own code snippets. And they're pretty much the same except for this number here. You'll see. And then of course the actual class. But I kind of have a system. You know, since this one's the 916, it says PA Portfolio Image 916. All right, and then here 32, so it's PA Portfolio Image 32. And then this number is different for each of these based on the math up here at the top. So let's go ahead and do the square one. I know that the square one would be probably the most popular, and you know, we're going to show you a couple, maybe two or three examples, but start here by, we're actually going to copy uh, this PA portfolio image one, one. So we have a portfolio module here and a filterable portfolio module. And I have them both, but you know, they're, they're actually the same for this tutorial, the changing the image aspect ratio, that's the same. So it affects each one the same. So don't worry if I say, portfolio module and you're trying to do the filterable one it's fine it's the same thing so let's go in here and you, you go to the settings and then the advanced tab CSS ID and classes open that and then CSS class so go ahead and paste that so we wanted the one that was PA portfolio image one one we want to make these square all right in fact let's go ahead and I'll just add it in here while that way when we paste the code snippet in in the next little step here we'll see a change in both all right let's go back to the tutorial and i do have this link down below you're going to need you know you're going to need to get there so over on the blog pacreative.com slash blog and then we're going to copy this this one here that relates to the one one okay copy that and to put this on here so we can see it live um, we're going to use the page settings. So go down here to this purple stuff and click the page settings. The advanced tab, custom CSS, and we're going to paste this in. And there you go. Our project featured images became square. How easy was that? You know, if you thought that was easy, give me a thumbs up and subscribe because, you know, I think all of our tutorials here are kind of about just that easy. Um, try to make them simple, try to explain each step. I know there's beginners and intermediate users here, so do try to explain each step. Um, and But that's just so easy. It's such a simple thing. And I'm gonna show you a couple more, you know, not too many. I'll just show you, um, let's do 16.9, because that's kind of, it's a little bit of an extreme. I mean, it's 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 pretty, pretty short and wide. <laughs> Um, but I'll show you how the system could work here. So I pasted that in and you'll see, you know, it says 16.9 instead of 1.1. So we can actually just go in here and, and just, you know, change this 16.9. And there you go. You can see how it got the 16.9 aspect ratio. Now there is one more that you might want to use. Um, I would say maybe second to most common and that would be the two, three. And the reason I say that is because that would be the same aspect ratio as Pinterest pins. So maybe you have some projects that you, you wanna share 
the project to Pinterest. You know, that's your strategy. You do that for every project. But you don't want to be making different images and featured images and figuring all that. And you want them to show on your website the same as on Pinterest, that same aspect ratio. We'll use this one. Use the two three. So we'll just we'll just do this one. Copy that. Back here and you know, paste this one in. We'll just we'll just go ahead and override what we had again. Um, so two three. So then uh, oops. And then go over here we'll just change our number we, we could copy the whole thing if you were starting from scratch but we already have it in here so there you go so there you could have you know your portfolio module showing you know your, your featured images and you could see the whole thing um, so I think that's probably all I need to show you um, if you need something kind of custom you know I'll, I'll give you just you know for another minute here or so I'll explain so this math works by you divide the second number by the first in your in your aspect ratio. So, you know, if it's 916, you divide 9 by 16, you get 0.5625. Well, then just move the decimal place over and add a percent sign, so you get 5625. And I'll show you that one right here. Right here's that number. Padding top, 56.25%. All right, so that's that's the only number that's changing in any of these, actually. Um, so here, you know, 3 divided by 4, 0.75, move the decimal place over, 75%. And that's how it works, and that's going to work, like I said, the same for all four of the tutorials in this, you know, kind of a series, the gallery, the image module, the blog module, and here on the portfolio and filterable portfolio modules. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed learning how to change that portfolio image aspect ratio in Divi. If you've enjoyed this, subscribe, share it with friends, and tell me what you want to see next. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for subscribing. We'll see you in the next video.